Hello to all my heroes and legendary beards out there. Welcome. My name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher. If you've not had a chance yet, please give that subscribe button a little press and just make sure it's clicked already. Thank you guys. We will be joined by my gorgeous wife, Sam C., in a little bit. Today we're going to have a little bit different of a review video. It's going to be kind of a condensed version, mainly because we've covered this company many times before, and that of course is the Heroes and Legends Trading Company. And a lot of you know that on Monday, Commands Corner Livestream, we kicked off not one, not two, but three new scents from them. We're going to cover those today. We're going to get Sam's take on them. And we're also going to talk about a scent that you guys have been begging me to try that I have not tried from this company yet. And we'll get into all that. But just a couple quick bits of information before we really go into the review and into the part with Sam is a one ounce bottle of beard oil from Heroes and Legends is on the site for $16.99 for an absolutely amazing quality product. And if you use the code Dan C. Bearded, all caps, I'll put it in the description for you guys. That saves you 10% off. That's $1.70 right there. That brings you to the absolute market average for one of the best products in the game, period. So remember that. They got a couple new products like coffee that have dropped. They have a women's line that has perfumes. That code works for everything on there. A lot of you love their merch and their hats and everything. Same thing there. So Dan C. Bearded, all caps. Uh, this is a couple-owned company that is going all in. They have huge plans for the future, and I love that I'm able to just kind of witness the ride from afar and help in any way that I can. So we are going to talk about these brand new scents that are just on the market this week, you guys. How you can get your hands on them, what Sam thinks of them, what I think of them. We're going to get into the introduction and then the part with both of us. Thank you guys. out of the intro right into Sam C. Bearded. Hello. Hi. A little different video today, Sam. Kind of okay. a condensed version. I'm not covering all the other stuff because they know Heroes and Legends mm -hmm. by now, so we just got to give them the updates. Okay. And with Heroes and Legends, we both had the pleasure of meeting one of their owners, Jeremy, mm -hmm. and uh, his wife Mindy was not able to make the trip, but Jeremy came down to Disney Springs and hung out with us. Super nice guy. We uh, had the whole night with food and drinks and everything. It was a really cool time. It was great. So, absolutely amazing there. All right. Heroes and Legends. Yeah, we have four new scents to kick off today. They did kick off their new coffee line. I don't know if you saw that on Instagram or anything. Yes, they're not in Starbucks yet, but they do have a new coffee line there. <laughs> they're really embracing that Heroes and Legends trading company uh, rather than just a beard company or a grooming company. Yeah, super cool. It is, and they have the women's line of perfume. They mm -hmm. have really cool options there. Uh, we have four cents. The first one that I'm going to talk about is one that they've had since the beginning, and I've tried the teensiest, tiniest, small sample that they used to have. They have better samples now, and I couldn't smell it. My beard just ate it up alive, so it just wasn't even worth anything. So this is called the Titan. This okay. is titled Ocean Breeze in Vanilla. Ooh. And so everybody keeps saying, Dan, okay. you'll love the Titan. You it might does even, sound like you. It does. They're like, you might even like it more than the villain. I'm like, hey, now, watch your mouth. <laughs> we don't get crazy over here. So this is Ocean Breeze in Vanilla. Let me know what you think here. And again, this is not a new one, but it is available and it has been available. It does smell like ocean breeze it does. and vanilla. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more of like a sandalwood sort of scent. Right. But it is. It's, it's fresh. It's, it's fresh beautiful. And it's a little bit sweet yeah. smelling. Yeah. Yep. Which is me. Like, I love fresh scents. I love sweet scents. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely phenomenal. It, like, fits my taste perfectly. <laughs> um, I don't quite think it's better than the villain just yet. Nothing is better. The, and the villain, especially for me, is one of those sneaky scents when you first put it in or your first time you try it and you're like, oh yeah, this is good. And then it just becomes more addicting and addicting and addicting and you crave it. Uh, but this is really, really nice. Uh, when it says ocean breeze and vanilla, it's genuinely yeah. ocean breeze and vanilla. Like it. And it has a good scent duration. It lasts six to eight hours in beard. I think with those lighter kind of fresh citrus scents, they don't last as long. Um, but this one's doing really good. So definitely an amazing one. This will be a regular for me, especially as summer comes around. Yeah, that's I really a good see this scent. as spring and summer scent there. So the Titan, you guys, absolutely two thumbs up already. 
Now, we have three new sets. We kicked these ones off on Commands Corner on Monday, okay. and everybody is going to love them as they receive them, but I wanted to make a real video that so it has kind of staying power and people can come back to this. Yeah. The first one I think they developed with Sam in mind here, and this is called Flex. First off, with some beautiful labeling. <laughs> they do all of their own labeling. They have their own printers, the whole deal on this. And this is some gold flake labeling. I How love cool it. is that? I love it. it. It's like, so fancy and looking. And just pops. The gold just pops on there. Yeah. I mean, it looks very, that, very it expensive. It looks like a high end. Yeah, yeah, expensive. 100%. All right, Flex, this is the first dabble for them in colognes. Cologne oh, okay. sets. And I believe they were listening to all of our cologne videos. And as Sam was like, I like this type. I like that type. I don't. They were like <laughs> taking notes. And they bottled it into one. All right. What is your thoughts on Flex? That's a fantastic cologne. Yeah. I would describe it as like a sophisticated soapy cologne. Yes. And Sam yes. loves soapy That's colognes. That's perfect. I was trying to think of like a good way to mm. describe that for you guys. Could Sophisticated soapy. Yeah, because soapy doesn't do it justice. I no, think there's a no, lot no, no, of no. like Irish Spring or whatever the, yeah. the soapiness ones are out there. This is like a sophisticated version of that. Oh, that's... That, it's so nice. That's amazing. And it's like <laughs> pleasant. It's not harsh. It's yeah. not subtle. It's like right perfectly in that range. Real sophisticated soapy, if you yeah. like that. I mean, it is perfect. It's not a citrus cologne. It's not a... Uh, Whatever the other colognes are out there, it's I'm not blanking. Musky. Yeah, it's not musky. That's good, mm -hmm. right? We're finding that we are not the biggest fans of the musky colognes. That Sam loves the soapy colognes, and I oh. like them because they're not out there like attacking your nostrils. Yeah, it's not so, like a bro at a club. Right, right. This is, man, it's so nice. It's really, really pleasant. Mm. And this one, Jeremy actually hand delivered to me in Florida. So I've oh, had really? this one. Yeah. That's I've funny. had this one for a few weeks now. He was holding his pocket the whole night. He's like, all right, I guess we should. Bam! And then threw this <laughs> out at me there. So he had to flex on us a little bit. Oh. So sophisticated soapy, truly amazing cologne. Um, this has to like age for so many weeks. Uh, it's so good. So, so good. And then the next two are really cool. They've also upped their label game here. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is what I have in beard today, actually. Okay. And this is Heroes and Legends Trading Company, a mids summer, a mids, a mid summer. Oh my gosh, a midsummer's night, a midsummer's night. And look at this label on there. Yeah. It's got some beautiful artwork. It it's, almost looks like a like, like expensive a painting, painting yeah. right? Like an oil painting there. And this is pale honey ale, citrus and sunflower. Citrus and sunflower. What does sunflower smell like? <sighs> this. And I have it in beard today, so I don't know if you remember. Sam always smells it when she walks into the bathroom after mm -hmm. me. Did you remember smelling the beard oil this morning? I do not. Okay. Wait, I got ready after, or before you, so. Yeah, you probably still went back in, though. You always have to check and change three times and <laughs> all that. Change her hairstyle. She's like, do you want me to wear my hair up or down? I'm like, up. She's like, okay, down. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It is true. <laughs> That's very and true. I get irritated. I'm like, I'm not answering anymore. <laughs> All right. A Midsummer's Night. A Midsummer's oh. Night. Oh. Mm. What does that smell like? I don't know. I am a major fan of honey, and I smell honey right off the bat in here. I smell it in beard consistently. Let me smell it again. This is going to sound crazy, but this might top the villain for me on usage. I love this. To me, And I could wear this every single day. Every day. Interesting. Yeah. What to do you me, think? To me, it smells a bit like sweet tarts. Whoa. Okay. Let me smell. Okay. See, I could get that in bottle. But when it gets in beard, it mellows out with the sweetness, and you really get the honey in there. You get kind of an earthy, I think, that sunflower. Uh, but in bottle, it is a little bit sweeter than it is in beard. Yeah. Or like pixie uh, sticks. Man. The smell of pixie sticks. It is amazing, you guys. In beard, it's not that sweet. In bottle, it is. This is one that kind of evolves throughout the day. We had a collab with them, Sleepy Hollow, and that one always changed, oh, yeah. right? I with forgot about Sleepy Hollow. Maple and oak moss and all that. This one changes throughout the day as well. I'm going to have to give it some time and give you guys my final thoughts, but this literally right now might pass the villain for me. It is that good, and it's 
just so easy to wear, you guys. It's so calm. It's so wonderful. Amazing, amazing. And then another one. And they're, I mean, they are killing it. It, it just seems like everything fits into my profile. This is Mr. Sandman. Nice. So super cool graphic there. Got the, like, the moon, and he's reaching down. Just really, really cool. This is lavender, chamomile, and sandalwood. I don't know why, but in my head, I was saying all three of those. Really? I guess because Sandman, Sleep. Yeah. Obviously. Mm, all right. To me, super relaxing, mm. super calming, but pleasant at the same time. It's a... So you know mm. when you smell those like nighttime scents like lavender and chamomile, you think yep. more feminine. Right. The sandalwood in here makes it True. a more masculine, True. like sleepy scent. So to me, it's like a more, it's a grown up like kids wash. So you know when you give kids a wash or like a lotion like for nighttime. Like Johnson and Johnson's like sleep scent. Yeah, their sleep scent. To me, this is like an adult version of that, yeah. like a manly version it of that. It is more manly. Yeah. Super nice. And for yeah, me... Yeah, I do enjoy that. Me too. And this is, I can wear at night, obviously, to go to yeah. sleep. But I can definitely wear it throughout the day as well. Really, really love. And man, these, I'm telling you, you'll see pictures, but the labels are just beautiful on these guys. Absolutely amazing. So, killing it. Yeah. The Titan is a classic of theirs. I will wear that all the time. You got a soapy, sophisticated flex cologne. Amazing. Mr. Sandman, relaxing, but also manly at the same time. Yeah. And then my favorite, a midsummer's night. Oh, the honey in here, you guys, is what really sets it apart for me. Dan's a honey guy. I love, love honey. I'm not. I, she thinks I'm crazy that I used to eat honey like as a kid. You get those little honey like tubes. You guys know what I'm talking about it, like Ugh. the apple orchard. Ugh. Loved it. When I'd get chicken tenders or chicken nuggets, dip it in honey. Oh, so good. I love I, honey. I don't like the smell of honey. I don't like. I love it. I love using it, you guys. Honey in things. In beard, you do get a lot of the honey. So if you're like Sam and you don't like honey, guys, don't get this. <laughs> but if you do, if you enjoy those like summerhood, summer, summerhood, summerhood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix of summer and childhood. If you enjoy those summerhood memories, <laughs> then this is definitely for you. Killed it absolutely across the board. Usually when we get multiple scents, we're like. Yes, we love this one. Uh, this isn't for us, but yeah. we know you guys will, will like it. I love all of these. All of them, truly. So seriously wonderful. It's super cool to kick them off on Commands Corner. We had some giveaways for you guys. Uh, go out there. Remember, Dan C. Bearded, 10% off. Save you guys a little bit of money. Um, let's go try to crash their website. Let's get their stock all taken down. I like causing these owners headaches when it's a good problem to have. Going to Dan C. them. That's right. Get Watch Dan C. New verb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Sam C, do you have any questions to leave these guys with for this? Yeah, I need to know mm. who likes honey and who hates honey. Perfect. <laughs> to leave you guys with a question, leave a comment down below. Do you like honey or do you not like honey? We got to settle this score once and for all. <laughs> We're going to tally it up. I'm going to get the numbers back to you guys and see who wins. Honey or non-honey? Right? I think that's a perfect question to end with. So, awesome. Well, thank you, beautiful. You're welcome. All right, guys. Stay positive and stay bearded.